I'm really disappointed in myself that I didn't do a video on this six months ago because I've been extremely busy with other things unfortunately because I have to make a living in this world. I can't just talk about politics or write about politics which is what fundamentally I love to do and it's my ultimate main passion really um, and main thing that I enjoy doing even though I have, ulti I have other YouTube accounts and that have nothing to do with politics that I have to do and I have a normal job um, but I had to make this video because I am that shocked and disgusted and I was at the time that something that happened to a, a librarian who worked for the, her local council the lady is called Maureen O'Burn she's a 56 or 58 year old um, librarian from Wigan um, who was sacked for criticising Wigan Council who was technically her employer even though she's a librarian her employer sacked her because she violated a disrepute clause in her contract that prohibited her from criticising or bringing her council into disrepute which means give a bad reputation. Now, that is the most disgusting thing I have ever, ever heard. These clauses, these disrepute clauses are a disgrace and they are basically a form of censorship. Companies and councils and public companies and private companies put them into contracts to censor staff staff feel this is all across the private sector all across the public sector staff feel um gagged that they can't speak about you know products pol political political issues and so forth because they are restricted by the threat of losing their job now sh the, the crazy thing is about this case is that and to, to give you a tiny bit of background in Wigan there's been um, they've tendered for work on, on I believe the galleries uh, which is like a historic part of Wigan town centre where they want to kind of renovate it all knock it all down and build something new like with a cinema and all that type of stuff and the Wigan Council have chosen Beijing Construction and Beijing Construction are a Chinese company that is owned by the state of China and we all know what the Chinese government is they are an authoritarian dictatorial um, top-down hierarchical nothing to do with communism because it has nothing to do with communism I'm afraid in China um, enslaving a million Uyghurs that are ethnic Muslims that are not Han Chinese that live in um, Western China, that they have an appalling human rights record. That's not to say that America doesn't and Britain doesn't, but they do have an appalling human rights record. And Wigan Council have courted them and selected them to carry out the works, probably because the Chinese government are putting up some of the money as investment into Wigan um, for profits, basically. Um, they've chosen them above English companies that employ English people now don't get me wrong Beijing Construction will be employing I'm guessing English quantity surveyors and English um, construction workers to some degree not as many but they, would, they will be employing quite a few but ultimately the profits are going to be going to China you would think that the they, they would be supporting local labor local companies more than a, than a Chinese company that that would seem the most obvious thing to do but oh no not Wigan Council Wigan Council have chosen a Chinese company and all, all Maureen did was criticize her employer but who is the council acting in her as a private citizen criticizing her government council not criticizing really her employer the fact that she worked in a library is a total you know who cares the fact she technically worked for the council she wasn't criticizing her council's 
work. Like it, uh, she wasn't sorry. She wasn't criticizing the um, the library that she worked at, or giving any kind of information, or whistleblowing. She was merely criticizing, generally, the council over this decision to um, choose a, a, a company that is owned by the Chinese government, that has a terrible human rights record, and that they've chosen above an English company. Now. That, in my opinion, that's a completely legitimate criticism, a totally normal, completely legitimate criticism. But incredibly, Wigan Council have enacted a dis the disrepute clause in her contract, and they they're going to say that 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 post in particular, and um, a series of other posts have brought the council into disrepute, meaning brought shame on the council. So the first question is, why should a council or why should any legal entity, whether a company, whether a private citizen, why sh or, or the council, of government, why should any company have any um, rights to not be shamed? If their actions are bad, why should they not be shamed? Well, of course, they should be shamed. And people should be free to shame companies and to shame um terrible products and terrible services you should have absolutely no legal right to sue someone for defamation or slander or to write into a contract an employment contract that you won't bring this company into disrepute why what if you deserve it what if you these by not allowing people to talk about in this case even her local council you are censoring what is potentially the truth you are censoring honest and open debate whether that be Amazon's delivery policies and I, I'm, I'm just picking a company off the top of my head whether that's Domino's whether that's um, your local builder whether that's a celebrity on Twitter whether that's Amazon whether that's Barclays whether that's Tesco's or whether that's Wigan Council none of them should have any legal ability to, to restrict what you say even if what you say is totally false Yes, I really mean that. No one should have any legal right to any um, reputation. A company should have no legal right to one, and a human being citizen should have no, no legal right to one. The only people that would ever, ever, ever dream, dream of, um, of suing someone for defamation or slander or is, is either a company that, that has that fears it's going to lose orders even if what you said is the truth they will use these tools they will use these tools to like to get trip advisor reviews took down they use these tools to stop criticism of themselves that's what they do and in this situation Wigan Council are acting ironically like communist China which has nothing to do with communism they are a total disgrace, I'm afraid. When it not on everything, but on not on invading other countries because they're not invading many countries, not on all policies, which some policies of collectivization and some social policies where they've got people out of poverty, some are, are not bad, but ultimately on many things they, they rule with an iron fist and they rule in a corrupt, horrible manner, which unfortunately many Asian countries do. And that's a fact. Go to the Middle East where we prop them up because we care about the oil. And we, you know, ultimately, um, on this, they, they have a terrible human rights record. We do also, you know. We, we, you think what we did in Iraq wasn't a violation of human rights, or I think it was. You think what America does in Guant Guantanamo Bay wasn't um, a violation of human rights. You think killing a million Iraqis wasn't a violation of human rights. So we have a terrible record as well, but so does China. And ultimately, what Maureen has said is totally fair criticism on that issue. And she should not be able, that these contracts should not be allowed to exist. In my opinion, not only should they be made, should they be banned, made illegal, they should be straight up illegal. So if you write them into a contract as an employer, you should be fined. If we, um, reported the, the employer to trading standards or another legal entity that was set up to enforce this or the police you should be 
an enforcing body should immediately re remind the employer that any restrictions on speech in the contract is illegal. I know in private contracts that many employers will write that um, you will not, you know, they have like a social media policy or they have a disrepute clause. All the all these clauses are doing are just basically stopping the company from being criticised, essentially, or, or stopping you from discussing controversial um, and giving your your rightful opinion um, on um, matters of, of politics that affect you and so forth. You know, if I if I if if someone was to be spouting all about communism and socialism all day long on social media. I'm sure that in some instances that would be construed as a violation of, of their, um, of the disrepute clause or of of the social media policy. In some instances, ultimately, um, I believe all these contracts should be made totally illegal, including the vast majority of NDAs. And NDAs are a straight gagging clause, and they should be banned in the vast majority of cases. Restrictive covenants that that are in. Um, like this disrepute clause they should be made totally illegal if, when, in employment contracts and and um, also which should be made totally illegal is we, we should be wiping it off the statute books is slander and um, libel the only people that would ever do use slander and libel are either companies that have loads of money or companies that are kind of are aware of the law and don't give a toss and they will simply send a pre-action protocol or a cease and desist letter to stop you from saying it as a, as a, to stop you from criticizing the product even if what you said is totally true because they know that you will not have enough money and you will not want to go through the pain of english justice to defend your, your what are you ultimately your rights so they're used and exploited by rich people or by companies that have loads of money they're the only people that would ever use these these clauses or these these disgusting laws like libel and slander so the whole thing is an absolute disgrace and the whole thing proves that in britain you do not in any capacity have freedom of speech you think you have freedom of speech but you don't and you don't do you know why because we permit libel and slander laws that restrict millions of people all the time from criticizing companies, products, celebrities, and so forth, because of fear of being sued. The fear of being sued is enough for some people to stop them speaking what they really believe. And millions of people don't speak what they believe because of the contracts, the employment contracts that restrict what they say outside of work. All these should be absolutely, completely, totally banned. In some parts of the world, in New York City, I believe, or the state of New York possibly. Um, if you work for a public company, well, well, you cannot be, you, you cannot have political speech, right? You can't be sacked for political speech in, in New York, as far as I'm aware. Employers have no legal right to do that. Now, we, we should go a lot further than that. It shouldn't just be political speech. It should be even criticizing the company you work for. You should be free to do that. Why should the truth not come out? Why should you be what that having that truth come out helps us all as a society, but it is restricted in Britain. That's why this case is an absolute disgrace. Wigan Council, shame on you. There will be ultimately long term consequences of this because you're enlightening by doing these disgusting actions, you're enraging more and more people to do this. So to conclude, there is no such thing as freedom of speech in Britain, definitely not in Wigan, if you work for Wigan Council, um, but it's pretty much boilerplate terminology in um, most employee-employer contracts. The threat of losing your job or the threat of being sued um, for your opinion, your political opinion or criticising a product and service means that freedom of expression in no capacity does it exist in Britain. The original meaning of the term and what the common meaning is, is that you can speak or express your beliefs without fear of penalty. But the penalty here is losing your job 
are being sued for thousands of pounds. Because those two penalties exist, it is ridiculously stupid to ever, ever, ever claim that we have freedom of speech in Britain. It is a lie and Wigan Council have just shown everyone why we don't have freedom of speech. And furthermore, Wigan Council, what it should do is, you know what it should do? It should ring up this lady, it should say that they are so sorry for enforcing this absurd, ridiculous clause in our contract, which we should have absolutely no right to do. It should then give her thousands of pounds in damages, reinstate her and give her a massive amount of money for, for the stress and embarrassment that they've caused on her. For, for, for losing her livelihood when she's been a good honest worker for 20 years or whatever it was. And number three, they should contact every single employee in Wigan Council and they should, they should tell them that they're sorry for constructing this disgusting clause in their contract and that they will never, ever, ever, ever again write these disgusting censorship clauses in contracts because they are an absolute disgrace and Wigan Council you are an embarrassment a total embarrassment shame on you